Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Today this is going to be my cast assessment for MCC 27, MCC Underdogs, and I'm kind of conflicted with some of these casting choices, but should be it should be interesting nonetheless. But yeah, let's start off with the Red Rabbits, where we have Hannah, Pearl, G, and Lizzie. And honestly, I don't think this team will win. However, like like, I actually, I believe there is zero chance that this team wins. I think Hannah, if, if there is a chance that this team wins, I think Hannah will is going to be the reason there. Uh, Lizzie hasn't played since, I believe, MCC Pride 2021, which has been a while. Meanwhile, Hannah, Pearl, and G have played recently, have been in more, most some of these recent, more recent events. Um, so I don't think this team will win, um, however, it should be fun vibes to watch, I guess, um, obviously Hannah's been, is very good at, at like, PvP games, like, she, I remember watching her dominate, it, it was like a United UHC Season 6, I believe, it, she did so well. In, in that, so I like honestly, he it should be nice. To, it should be interesting to watch, and obviously, I I, I kind of want an all female team to win. You know, I obviously uh, Lizzie is by, but yeah, <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> um, but I kind I, I I want an all I want an all like female right, team to win at some point. That would be I think that will be fun. But I don't think it's going to happen this event, sadly. So for me, they're not in winner contention. Next up, we have the Orange Ocelots, where we have Dan, Ant, Goonie, and Babul Abe. Never heard of that person in, in my entire life. I've heard of Dan TDM, heard of Ant Venom, heard of Goonie. Never heard of this person. Like, is this person from that Xbox team in MCC E Pride 2021? If so, probably, like, they're going to do the worst. Like, there's no, I've never heard of this person. Who is this person? Never heard of him. Ever. Uh, so, I'm probably going to do the worst out of everyone on this team. Um, Dan hasn't played, I believe, since the start of Season 2. Uh, and he wasn't that great of a He wasn't the best of players to begin with. He, uh, him best, he, I, I think. I think he may have made a dodgeball. That could be wrong. Um, Ant Venom uh, is kind of a more recent player. Hasn't done the greatest. And then we have Gumi, who, who I think, over, just because she has been in more events recently, I think she probably will do the best out of everyone here. Or by like it could be, but uh, like, I I don't think there's any chance. That, I don't think there's a chance that this dude wins. Like. I don't know if this team ever makes it to Nautiful, but, like, obviously, this, we're going to talk about a whole bunch of teams here that I just don't know. Like, I was not, some of these teams I just was not expecting. Like, oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, let's, let's continue along, I guess. But yeah, for this team, not in winter contention for me. Next up, we have Yellow Yaks, which I actually think this team... team I think there's a chance that this team makes it to Dodgeball. I think there's a world. But, let's see. Anyways, we have Jack, Archie Game, Red Velvet Cake, and James Marriott. Now, personally, I have I've never found James to be that... Uh, uh, that funny before. Uh, I'm trying to find him annoying. but So I think he'll probably do the worst on this team. He has not played in events before, but has been on the practice server before... <laughs> If you watched Tommy's video um, a little while back, uh, I think Red Velvet Cake is destined for a win at some point, and like this could be that event. Like uh, even if he doesn't win this event, I think there's I think there is a shot that he will win some one ne sometime within the next couple of events here because I, I I think he is a really r well rounded player. Jack, I like he. Obviously, I, he was a lock for this event. Like, I saw it coming from, like, 200 miles away. Uh, I think 
I and I, but I don't know if he's gonna take it that seriously. I think he probably maybe he will because he wants a win. And then we have RT Game, who I think will actually probably do better than James Marriott. And um, that's because well, RT Game has not been in an MCC since the Jingle Jam. I think I believe it was the Jingle Jam. He may have been in other events since then, but I think. Was it the jingle? It might have been the jingle jam. That might have been his last event, <laughs> and that was almost two years ago. So very long time ago, and obviously MCC games have developed so much that I just don't know if he he'll be able to stick up, keep up here. So I think this he will probably do the third, third on the best on his team, like second last. In this individual standings for this team here, I think Red will probably get for will be do the best out of this team. Jack a second, in, maybe a second in command. But is there a chance that RT game gets in? Is a second in command? Maybe, maybe there, he does still. Maybe he still has some of that uh, MCC goodness. And I did look at his stats. But he's not the greatest player in the world. Like, he's an okay player. He's not, but he's certainly not, like, a dream-esque player. Or, I, and, honestly, I'm kind of surprised he hasn't won, but, yeah. Um, it should be it should be interesting to see how well this team get, does. I think there's a chance, though. That this I think there's a chance this team gets to dodgeball. However, at the worst, I could see this team getting, like, a sixth place, but we'll see. Next up, we have the Lime Llamas, which I am very conflicted on this team because going into this event, I was under the impression there weren't going to be any winners from any of these of any MCC yet, and but we got winners. We have Gizzy Gaza and Creek Craft, who both won MCC E Pride 2021, and, and why are they here? I don't, I think that we could have found two other people. They could have found rookies, let's be honest. They could have found two people who'd never played an MCC before. Or who've, who've said in the past that they might, they're interested in playing in an MCC. And then we have Joey and Megan. Which, I think they'll probably actually do the worst on this team. I mean, because Gizzy is more, is more, or like, is, ha like, Gizzy has been in more events than any of these other people, I believe. He's he's kind of in and around. He's in and out of these events. Joey hasn't played since MCC Pride 2021, and where he teamed with uh, he teamed with Tommy Tubbo and Wisp, and was essentially being carried. Megan hasn't played in a very long time. Uh, Creek hasn't played since All Stars. And he was an alternate. Like, I don't know what to think about this team. I don't think this team will win. I think actually Joey Megan will probably end up taking tanking this team down. Did this team make it to dodgeball? Maybe, I don't know. Uh, Gizzy will probably end up carrying this team if he, if they do end up making it that far. Uh, so yeah, but it should be still interesting, I suppose. But I'm not cheering for this team, and I don't. So they're not in winner contention for me. Next up, we have the Green Geckos, which I, like, there's so many teams here. There's, I was not expecting this caliber of teams, this these types of teams. So, like, obviously, a team has to make, like, there's 10 spots. Some of these teams have to do pretty bad. Some of these teams have to do well. So, I don't know what to think about this team with Foolish Gamers, Saikudo, Tina, and K Kat Katamina? Never heard of this person in my entire life. <laughs> and just for that, like, and it's like, you know, they didn't do the greatest in MCC Pride 2022. Foolish has done, is probably doing, going to do the best. Tina probably doing second best. Just, um, like, I could, like, they, they'll probably do fine. In Saikuno, probably do the third best, maybe? I don't know. Ooh, could, I don't know who this. <laughs> Katamina person. Never heard of this person in my entire life, so I don't know how to assess them. Uh, so, 
Oh, for me, I, I I don't think this team will win in at all. So not in winner contention. Next up, we have the Cyan Coyotes, which once again don't know what well what to think about this team. We have discussed this disguised toast. I don't know. A uh, box box. It's Masayoshi and I I T Z E T M E. Who are these people? Like. Never heard of Bok Bok, never heard of Masa Yoshi, never heard of Timmy. I've heard of this guy's toast. I've seen some, I believe, was he, I believe he was Among Us video, a streamer or something. I don't know. But, like, I don't know what to think about that team. This team, this, like, could do well, could do very terribly. It could be a lot. Last place. I don't know what to think about this team. And, and I'm just gonna step away from the stream for a bit, I, for a second here. Uh, there's a cat at the door. We're back. But yeah, I don't know what to think about this team. Not in winner contention for me. It's really, like, I, I don't know what to think about this team. What? Like, it, it really just feels like MCC Rising. Another version of MCC Rising. So, I don't know what to think about this. Uh, so, yeah, not in winner contention at all. Next up, we have Aqua Axolotls, where we finally have the... We got another team. And where I think... There's a, there's a chance? Yeah, Valkyrie, Ludwig, Amesy, and Rambu. Ludwig was supposed to compete in Pride 2022, I believe, but had to drop out. Amesy and Rambu are in, in the mix most of the time, have been in the mix before, and I think are probably going to do ooh, the best out of the team. Amesy was actually in Dodgeball, I believe, right? I, I believe so. Uh, but yeah. I, 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 I guess this team could make it to dodgeball, but I don't know. Ludwig and Valkyrie will probably end up doing the worst. Valkyrie, I think she's a newbie. She may have been in Pride 2022. Ooh, she might have been. And I can't, if so, I don't know how well she did. Okay, I'm going to step away from the computer again. There's a cat at my door.
we're back. Yeah, I had to step away for a sec. I'm just gonna see though. Like, I don't know how well Valk Valkyrie yet. This issue's played before. I can't remember. I can't remember, and I like I know she's been in mine. She played Minecraft before. MCC Val. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, I believe. Oh, she was. I believe she was in. Yeah, she was. Yeah, she was in Pride twenty twenty two. How well did she do? Because I don't think like she probably didn't do the greatest. Oh, her team let he she did thirty eight place thirty eight. Her team landed in lap. So obviously not great, but like, <laughs> uh, but yeah. About like, I think this team will probably if they don't make it to well, they can definitely see this team just lining in the top half. But like I, I don't really know, but <laughs> we'll see what happens next. Next up, we have the blue bats, where we actually have a team that is. How's winning chances? Oh my god. Which. Hold on a minute. Sam. Sam has won an event before, right? He's won an event. I believe. He, he's, a, he's a winner. Is Ponka a winner? Aw, oh, Sam. MCZ. I swear this guy has won before. He's not won? I thought... I could have sworn Sam won an event before. Huh. So I guess he hasn't. He's just been in a lot of dodgeballs then. Okay. Then... Okay, whatever. Anyways, we have Nikki, uh, Sam, Elena, and Punk. This team could make it to dodgeball. And I think, like... Out of everyone so far, I think this team will could could solidify a dodgeball spot, and and uh, I don't know how, I I can't remember. I don't think Nikki hasn't been in that many events recently, right? But I don't know. This team will probably make it to dodgeball or at least top half. Um, we'll see what happens. Uh, next up, we have Purple Pandas, where we have Blushy. Who's a winner? Fantastic! We have Fire Breath Man, former tester, did really well. Probably is a dream level of character from what I've heard. Of probably. And then we have B Dubs, who's I believe he was in like double in like the Life series, like Hermit Crab, I think, <laughs> like the Green's Life series, like uh, Third Life, Last Life, Double Life. Same thing with Impulse. And I think this team has what it takes to win. I think there is... I definitely think this team will win. Like, this team... I could see this team doing well, making it to dodgeball. Uh, B-dubs and Impulse are... I, I don't know how well they are PvP, but, like, they're... I guess I'm thinking they're probably fine or decent. Blushy is extremely... It's so very well at... In, Rot and MCC rising and has done very well in 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 MCCs in the past, and so I think this team is almost guaranteed uh, dodgeable for me or or not or at least top half. So, but so I think this team definitely considering this considering this team as a winner candidate for me. Next up, we have, and I guess last up, we have the fun. We have Pink Panthers, which is the funny crew. It's funny, Rainbow Glare, or in Drac, in Draco, Drac, uh, Draco, yeah, and yeah, I remember them from the deep end. They were in MCC Pride twenty twenty one, yeah, and they, I, I believe they got ninth out of everyone. Like the Xbox team just did really shit, <laughs> but I think this team. I don't think this team will win. Um, but like, and I think they're just gonna be in it for the vibes. I think, 
Uh, like there's a definitely, I think there's a world where this team gets last. Uh, team, there's a world where this team gets ninth. Jackal will probably end up being the best out of these players. Like I don't really know how to access Rainbow and Glare as players. I can access Draco and Funny. Obviously, it's funny. We see her. She's the most prominent out of all of them because that's the thing all these post on. So, well, I don't really know what to think. You know, I, 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 I don't think this team will win. And I, and I just realized I didn't make a, I didn't make a winner pick side. Uh, but I, I think, I think it's kind of clear for me. Out of all these teams, who's the really who's going to win? And for me, it's, it's between blue bats and purple pandas. I, I'm just gonna go with purple pandas here. Where, or, or yeah, I think yeah, I think this team will definitely has what it takes to win. I think Fire Breathman is like he was a tester of MCC tester, and MCC testers are I believe better. Than the av than some of these M than the normal MCC players that we usually see, and like I and Blushy did extremely well in Rising, and V Dub's Impulse probably going to like there's definitely they definitely they're not out of the picture. So for me, uh, they're definitely my winners or picks for this season, this event here. And I'm kind of you know what I'm kind of bummed out. <laughs> like, I think I got really scammed on the last event. <laughs> Uh, we got MCC 20... I picked orange ocelots, I believe, right? Or the orange oozes. And two people on that team dropped out. <laughs> Had to leave and got replaced. Like, obviously, that screwed me over. And after, like... But honestly, I was kind of thinking afterwards, I was going to go with the red or purple pandas. I, I literally switched my winner pick after the video to... Purple Panda, so I was like, I don't, but it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't feel like having the need to re record the video or anything, but like, uh, uh, like, I've, I totally went, I was going into that event no, thinking the Purple Pandas were going to win, and I was right, uh, uh <laughs> but yeah, uh, overall, though, we were kind of underwhelmed, like I said, underwhelmed with this cast, uh, I'm probably going to have some things in the description state. Well, I'm be having to leave the screen for a bit. I don't know how this long how long this video will be. But yeah, should be fun, a fun, interesting event nonetheless. And yeah, uh, but yeah, that is re-simulating... Uh, not re-simulating, God. Uh, that is my cast assessment for MCC 27. Obviously, re-simulating Survivor Series will continue. Like... Well, you could do more MCC videos or cast assessments. Uh, I'm assuming there will be one next month, and I, I I don't. I'm in the process of doing the winter ranking. Maybe that, so that might come out in January, maybe early February. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. And uh, yeah, Survivor 43 review that will come out soon. And, and the. Now, the video in this place, which was the Amazing Race Australia 6 review, that is going to be coming out next week now. Uh, I completely forgot this was going to... I thought... I usually, most based on most events of MCC recently, they were in the latter half of the year. But I I, I forgot, like, no, obviously November's kind of the start. It's, like, it's, the bur it's a birthday for MCC, and so I, I think... I don't know why you didn't catch the fact that obviously they're gonna house it a bit earlier than normal. So, but yeah, but yeah, that is, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that is the video. Thank you for watching. Gotta sign off. Yeah, thanks for watching.